Hey YouTube, so welcome to part 2 of my homemade hair cleansers video. In this video, we will be making my homemade milk and honey shampoo. So what you will need is African black soap. You'll need double the amount shown, aloe vera juice this time, coconut oil, apple cider vinegar, vitamin C pills, bentonite clay, shea butter, and the rest of that black soap that we were using in the last video. Okay, so you may experience moments of deja vu when you're watching this video, but I promise this and the last video are different. So the first thing you'll need to do is pour some hot water over your black soap. Cover it with plastic wrap and place it to the side. We'll get back to it later. Now we're going to need an empty container to measure out our oils. In this, um, for the shampoo, we're only using shea butter and coconut oil. measured out both ingredients, place the uh, mixture inside of the microwave. I'm actually heating it up for 45 seconds. When the shea butter is done melting, I mix it up and I begin to add my other ingredients to that mixture. For the shampoo, it's actually really important to pay attention to the ingredients only because any slight mistake I found can um, lead to different results. I actually like this recipe because when it settles, it separates into three different sections which makes it look really cool which is why I call it milk and honey. Um, so yeah. Okay, so our vitamin C pill, um, you're going to put it inside of the mixture and since I didn't put it in hot water first, I'm actually going to crush it with um, the fork. Um, if it had, leaves little chunks, it's fine because over time it will melt on its own. Now I'm going to add our black soap water to the mixture and then add more water to the black soap. And we're going to wait a couple minutes. After waiting a couple minutes, you can add the final um, half of the cup of black soap water and pour the chunks in as well. Leave the, ch the chunks are fine. Leave them alone. Um, don't like worry about them. They will melt over time and it gives the, um, the black soap um, shampoo a really cool effect in the end. So go ahead and pour it in your container. Squeeze those excess bubbles out to make more room. And you're basically done with the recipe. I'll show you some pictures after this um, batch has settled so you can see what I was talking about by, um, with the three tone um, separation that it has going on for itself. a tutorial on how I shampoo my hair with the shampoo just go ahead and click this video here otherwise I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next one bye YouTube and you can click here to watch part one which is a really cool rosemary mint mud wash I highly recommend it so if you're interested you can click this video